Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and I have a project share to share with you today. If you saw, if you saw, if you saw my um, Amazon haul video, I had did, hmm, I think it was like in September maybe, I don't know, August or September, I had purchased some different vintage cards, postcards on Amazon for Christmas and Halloween. Um, but I'm going to show you how to um, elevate this card. You still can use them as is. They're adorable. So you can do it as is. Um, this isn't a tutorial. It's just a project share to inspire you guys if you did pick these up. Um, and then I'll just give you some other tiff tips or ideas to be able to use these. Now, okay, before I show you again. I do like, I do like, you know, hmm, one of them I don't like. <laughs> and it's just because of how I put stuff on there. Not that it's bad. I, I just, you know, sometimes you love what you make, sometimes you don't. Okay, so here is one of them. So I just took, I had these card bases in my stash. They are five by six and a half. You use whatever you have. Um, so just to show you, this is where I just cut the front off like so. Um, and then I enhanced it with just some papers. I went in my bins, like my pink bin and picked out a couple pink papers that I thought would go with this. So I didn't have a collection that matched this necessarily. And I'm trying to see, can you guys see this? Okay. Um, see if that's better but I still I thought this was cute this took me like I don't even know I only made three cards and it took me forever just on decisions and then I had to make some flowers to go with it but I also used let me grab it again I'm not prepared I don't have my stuff with me but I just did now I don't know where I put it was it just right there in front of me I don't know, but I just did a video on, I got some new Scrap Diva design dies. Yep, here it is. And I use these leafies, which I just, I love her flowers and leaves that she does. And I love that, like I've said before, she does the right and the left side. Um, but I did use the ones that I showed in the actual haul video as an example on these projects. So, again, just pulled some things out from my stash. Um, I had the snowflake. I put a little pom-pom. I don't know if you guys can see. But I put a cute little white and gold pom-pom. Um, I did make these flowers. And I used some of that uh, tinsel twine that I just got. This yumminess from Trim and Twine. And I have been looking in some of their stuff has been selling out. So I don't know, you know, it's hard to tell with small businesses. I don't know if they're gonna keep having this in, but if you guys want some of this, you better go now. I don't get anything for telling you. I just like sharing. Um, they're just so cute. Oh my gosh, and so pretty to look at. But I did just make a little bow um, and I did it differently on each card. Tucked in some of the leafy branches in a, sh a shimmer white and then a glitter gold. I matted in a gold foil. This one, I roughed up the edges a little bit. Um, I didn't do that all the way through. I just kept trying to do some different things. And I think that is everything. I popped the card up. I did mat it on white, but I popped it up on chipboard. And on some of them, I depended upon just how I was feeling. I might have cut it cut it down a little bit as well so you could just do whatever you want but you know and then the inside I took the back piece so the other half and put that right there I just thought it was cute you can add stickers in there if you want you could do a sentiment there's no sentiments on this they're just plain right now I might do that later but that's the first one so definitely tell me what you guys think um, you know, you can leave them just like this or elevate them. Like when I say my cards are, they're sturdy. They, there's a weight 
to my cards. And that's what I like where somebody actually feels, you know, like they're really getting a special gift. Again, this is okay. It's just a little flimsy. <laughs> Not, I mean, it's still cardstock, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, so we have that one up there. Next is this one here. And I just based my paper off what was, you know, showcased on the actual card and did the flower. I used different flowers for my stash um, with holly leaves plus those, um, what are those called? I probably don't even have the, do I have the top with me? No. I forgot the name of, but I will link Scrap Diva's, um, Erica's information so you can see. But again, all of them are consistent, so they still feel cohesive even though each are different so they're all matted in gold and then they have the pink going throughout somehow but this one has the pink and green I did a snowflake border behind the the um, negatives of the snowflake border I then stuck up here I have that tinsel I don't know if you guys can see it. it's really cute I just love how dainty it is it's dainty um, but I have that going all the way around the frame and then just added some pearl dots down here. But yeah, just, you know, piece together some scrap pieces of paper. Inside is the same. So we have that one. Now this one, this is not my favorite. <laughs> but there is this one. I just, I don't like this cluster. And you guys are gonna laugh. I took this card because all my pink ribbon, because I'm out of room on my ribbon thing down here, is upstairs in what we call our game room, bonus room, etc. So I took this upstairs and it was dark up there. Oh my gosh, the little gems that I put in here, they glow in the dark. So I thought that was funny that I have glow in the dark jimmies on a Christmas thing. But you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Um, but I did, I made these flowers. And I made all the flowers. This is um, Scrap Diva Designs, one of her flowers. These are um, her branches here. And then I have these branches cut already in my stash. These leaves were cut already. So that's what I do with my scraps is I will pile them up and then I just go and I either paper punch or I um, die cut for flowers, leaves, that's the main thing I do. Sometimes I'll do glitter stars if I have scrap glitter, glitter hearts. Um, but for the most part, I have bins where I keep, once I've punched them out, you know, on a, a dye machine or a paper punch. And then when I'm ready to go make flowers or need a leaf, I have it all ready to go. And then I just did a bow here. Like, I just, I really hate this cluster. <laughs> it's too white, white, but I don't know. It's still cute. You guys know how, I mean, this still is a nice gift. There's just things, so don't, I, I'm not saying my stuff is bad. It's just not my fave. I like having, like, things that, you know, I love, love. Love, love. But just to give you guys, you know, different options. And my flowers all landed in the corner, or the same corner, just based on, you know, the the way the Santa was, etc., um, but how cute would these be? Also as an adorable shabby chic banner. OMG. Not like just like this, but you can make flag shapes, whatever. So it doesn't have to be just a card. These could be tags. So um, you can use up your scrap papers with a tag. They ju they're just cute. And it was, you know, it was cheap for the amount of cards you get. Plus the envelope. So... I'm dying to know. What do you guys think? Um, do you have other ideas? Please share. Yeah, so that is everything. And again, um, I will link. I'm trying to think. Yes. Trim. What is it called? Is it trim and tinsel? It's not trim and tinsel. Oh, I just went blank. Mm-hmm. Yep, and I can't. It's not coming to me at all. So I will link trim and something. <laughs> if they ever watch this video, they're going to be like, thanks a lot. Not that I'm not sponsored, but I just try to, you know, we got to do our part and help each other out. So, you know, 
but there's you know that the scrap diva design um dies the brand new ones and then let me show you the other ones and again i don't know the name off the top of my head um i did these for the white fillers right here love 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 um but i will link them so you guys have that information okay so if you did like the video please give your girl a thumbs up i'm starting to get on a roll so you guys should start to see some projects here really soon and some tutorials so stay tuned for that it is about to be thanksgiving week and i have a design team project i need to finish so um but just it, it's coming it's a comment. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Bye.